Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome back to I'd Run That in a War, where you guys get to help choose my loadouts, and I have the opportunity to run them in a game. And welcome to Season 4. I know, Season 3 was kind of... short. And Season 4 might be kind of short. The I'd Run That War series relies on constant, regular games to have extra gameplay footage to make these kinds of videos, and because we haven't had that kind of regularity, it's been tougher to make those kinds of commitments. I'm not losing interest, it's just in light of recent events that are still ongoing, it's been a little bit difficult. So what events have I been doing recently? Well, in the past month, I went to a small private game at Captain Xavier's place, but before I did that, I mustered up the courage and I put out a small survey, which almost 800 of you guys filled out, thank you very much, and I asked you guys what I should use. The first question I asked was, which dart zone blaster should I field? Pretty straightforward. Some good options as well. The Conquest Pro, the Dart Zone Pro Mark I, the Matrix Fire, the Monolith, and the Nexus Pro. To be fair, a lot of these are pretty recent too, so I'm sure a lot of people are curious what those would actually look like in a game. And in the end of the day, it was pretty close actually with the top two, but the winner was... Conquest Pro. Within the first day of posting this survey, the Monolith and the Conquest Pro went back and forth, so I honestly didn't know which was going to prevail, but ultimately the Conquest Pro conquested. So, the Conquest Pro. I've been very interested in this blaster, and it was fun to use it in a game, though admittedly this was the second time, and I've had all good things with the Conquest. So it turns out, before this game, I was testing it for another video, just to test consistency, and I put in some other darts in this blaster just to see what it might or might not feed. Well, I was able to jam it with some very old, crummy, large-headed darts that um, I ended up not fully clearing the jam, so when I went into this game, um, it was partially jammed. Just goes to show that sometimes gameplay footage is not great. And if you ever want to handicap yourself, well, this is how. Take a look. Double blinking. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And it's going to be a last minute upset. Nope. 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 Oh, you got me. Nope. Here comes that boy. Hello, boy. You ever just uh, start a game nope. when your blaster's not feeding? I have. Oh. Nope. Oh, man. Nope. Covering. Yeah. Yeet! 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 Oh! Yeet! I'm sorry, yeet. only the head was showing! Yeet! 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 yeet. And I'm yeet. dead for yeet. later! Yeet. Grab those balls, bring them back! Are you one at a time, right? One <laughs> only one! Out. Here comes Lance! Oh, Larry, Here comes Lance! Yeet! 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 Nope! Nope. Nope. Oh wait, is I missed he... him. Oh, okay. He did. Nope. 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 <laughs> I think I'm out of ammo. Nope. Nope. More, one more. Hit him. That's it. Gosh. I'm out of shape. No, you're out of darts. <laughs> Another dollar in the door. <laughs> All done now. Conquest Pro? More like Conquest Nope. I did end up clearing the jam after this game because I figured out what the problem was and it was actually really simple to do. But of course, during the game, things went terribly. You're welcome. Moving on. The next question I asked you guys was, whose loadout should I steal? Because it's impractical to bring all the loadouts for yourself. It's much easier just to pick and choose from other people. The options were my best friend's loadout, my arch enemy's loadout, or that boy's loadout. 
And do you really need me to tell you which of these won? Of course, it's that boy's loadout. Who else are you gonna choose? Are you gonna choose your best friend's loadout? No. Are you gonna choose your arch enemy's loadout? Why would you want that loadout? Are you gonna choose that boy. And I'll give you a quick second. Who do you think is that boy? All right, you've had a second. Of course it's Luchathor. He is that boy. And so when I say I was going to steal his loadout, I actually meant that I was going to become his loadout. Not like that. Here comes that boy. What the heck? Here comes that boy! Hello, boy. Yeet. Did I get you? <laughs> okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeet! It's 150, I swear. Yeet! Ah, oh, hit. Wait. Oh, yeah, you're on our team. <laughs> that took me a sec. Nice. Oh, sorry. All right, got him. Oh, damn, nice one. <laughs> Yo, dog, I'm tired, man. This blaster weighs too much. We're only allowed to carry one, right? Yep. Okay. I'll drop all 40. Just kidding. <laughs> this blaster is so not comfortable and it's heavy. Dang it. <laughs> all right, hit. Good one. How did I hit blaster? I put it on jam. 15 megs for a well, that was weird. Gee, thanks Luchathor for that riveting bullpup Talonclaw gameplay footage that wasn't the exact same footage that you already saw, but from a different perspective. Moving on to the final question I asked you guys. It wasn't a question, it was a statement. This is how you Sonic. Now some people were a bit put off by this one because they immediately thought, correctly, oh, the Sonic series from Nerf. Um, my approach was a little bit different. The options were the bow, the dart blaster, the missile, or the spoon. Zzz. This is in reference to the Sonic Wacky Pack that I got some time ago and I showed off in a video. People seemed to want me to use those in a game. I don't fully understand why that's not my style. Do I even need to tell you which of these won? Is there even the slightest chance that something that wasn't the spoons? Of course it was going to be spoons. Look at that pie chart. People have been asking me to use spoons in a game before there was even a realistic nerf tie-in. And even now this is questionably safe. Now the spoon itself, if you gently tag someone, you could perhaps use it as a melee weapon, but it is a ballistic spoon in that it shoots out the bottom. It doesn't actually shoot the spoon head off. It fires a plastic dart, which sounds a little bit dangerous, but the dart itself is very light and it goes less than five feet. Give it a little more oomph and perhaps you can get a little bit more power. But not exactly the weapon of choice for most foam flinging enthusiasts. Now, I've had 
an interesting idea in the past given the game Chex Quest because you start with a spoon in that as well and you can upgrade it to the Super Boot Spork. But this perhaps is the closest I will get in the meantime. It's not the easiest thing to use. It requires a lot of athletic ability, intuition, and much, much death. You don't believe me? Take a look. I swear it took five seconds for this thing to hit a target as it was in the air. Trade. Okay. <laughs> Fair trade. You got I me. Did. Jose? Oh, man. Lucas, you. Oh. Uh, Slice. Get me? Oh, Slice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, give me that. Grab that, grab that. Kill him, kill him. Kill oh, no, that one missed. Ah! Cover me, cover me. Watch him, watch him on that side, that side. No, my spoon run. I, uh, did I, you kill someone with those? I call that a success. You did? A success enough, yeah. And that is going to do it for today's episode. As always, a huge, huge thank you to everyone who participated in the survey, especially since it's been so long since we've done one of these. Hopefully, I'll get another one out in the near future, but I'm not posting one just yet because. I don't know when the next episode's going to be, so I don't want to have that hanging around and then never get to those loadouts. So keep an eye out, and you'll see the next I'd Run That in a War survey when I get to it. And also a huge thank you to Captain Xavier for hosting, and a huge thank you to Luchathor for letting me borrow his loadout, but more his gameplay footage to play with. So thank you again, everyone, for participating, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you, hopefully, in the next one. Do we have a plan? Well, Brett is clearly going to be the get the rockets guy. Well, I do have a mission. Oh, because he's <laughs> right. not good for anything else, and he's the best person we've ever had at that role.